Hi Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Let's whip it up to catch up. Yes, it's been a while since I've done a video and especially like a week that was or a catch up video. Today I have some happy mail for you, some gifts to share that I got and a couple of finished objects and some crafty talk. So let's get started. My happy mail is from Barbara Lionheart. There were two cards that arrived about a day apart, which is really strange because one was posted a while ago, but that's Australia Post for you. Sorry, planes going over. The first one is handmade by Barbara, which is really gorgeous with a little message as to um, how she was enjoying her holiday and what she's been up to, not catching a lot of my videos, which is fine. I wouldn't watch my videos either if I was on holiday, I'd be having too much fun. I love getting the cards because I always put a sparkle in my week and life has been really busy. The other one is this one and inside is a beautiful photo of Barbara and her granddaughter in the outfit I sent. It was a little outfit made by a lady at, at our community market. Um, she makes beautiful baby clothes and yes, Barbara's granddaughter does look gorgeous in the photo. I won't share the photo with you. Um, I think that's privacy of the family. But I was really happy to get it and the photo will remain special to me. It's very lovely. So that was my happy mail. So this week, besides doing a bit of crafting, Saturday I went to, um, knit, to Crochet for Cancer, which is our knitting group crochet group you don't just have to be a crochet you can knit we make stuff and donate it to the hospital or the cancer centers um you really can go anywhere but it's called fnq crochet for cancer and i met my friend ulia there who gave me a gift it's an animal toy kit of the bilby apparently a lady had two for sale exactly the same on etsy and she bought them one for me and one for her she also, which is back over there, gave me some blocking wires, which I've never used from Knit Pro. So um, apparently she ended up with double up of blocking wires. And I'm going to give those a go when I actually do have something worth blocking, a sure worth blocking. So that is, I have to check my notes. I'm a little bit vague today, I'm very tired. Um, basically my happy mail and gifts. So finished objects. Well, the first finished object is the Dasher blanket. This is it here. Ta -da! A ba Dasher baby type blanket. Can you see the pattern? It's actually a car seat or stroller size blanket. That's it there. The difference with this is, and I'll explain. Put that back over there. Some of the yarn came in a kit. This yarn came in this kit, and you make this little baby blanket and it wraps, roll it up, and the bunny has Velcro and it holds the blanket. However, this yarn is very fine and very coarse. I thought, oh, I can't see it making a baby blanket nice and the pattern that came with it was very lacy and holy for a baby. So what I decided to do was hold two together, this one because the colour's in there, which is big baby um, four ply. I used that. It doesn't have a colour name but it's a very pale lavender which is actually in the pink as well. I held the two together and I think and use the Dasher baby blanket pattern, which is much better. I really do think that way. <laughs> it's a knitted blanket. It looks much better. It's very soft. And yeah, not doing it justice in this light, but it is beautiful. I haven't blocked this yet. So the Dasher baby blanket was on um, one of my free pattern Fridays. Make sure you check out the playlist. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, so I combined the two yarns to get a nicer feel. I made the car seat of stroller size because Dasha Baby Blanky Pattern is by Marianne, Mariana, Mariana, 
Marianne, Mel of Marianne's Lazy Daisy Days. And um, yeah, it uses a four millimeter knitting needle. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. You just chase the link. And the sizes come from doll size to baby blanket, but she gives you, um, you could make it much bigger if you like. Now it is, let me have a look. I think it's, oh, I didn't bring the pattern. It's a six to or eight row repeat. I finished it a couple of weeks ago. I just forgot to show everybody. Yeah, it's a repeat pattern which gives you the dashes and it's fairly easy to follow. Um, an advanced beginner knitter could make this easily. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out by combining the two yarns to make it a little softer. And yeah, I'll block that soon. So that's my Dasher Baby Bank Blanket free pattern by Mariana's Lazy Daisy Days. It's quite a mouthful. So that is my first finished object. My second finished object is also from my free pattern Friday and it is the twisted, of course, tea cozy. That's the, I don't think you can see much there. That's the pattern there. This is a free pattern um, also from Ravelry featuring by Frankie's Knitted Stuff. There'll be links to these two patterns in the description below. Now for this I used pure wool and a four millimeter knitting needle. I used Lima wool, which I got from Hobie, 100% soft wool from South America in this particular color, color number, no name. Now I used one skein and a bit, and there is mine. There you go. The Knitted Tea Cozy. Now it has varying sizes for different size teapots on the pattern. And the pattern is, sizing is very true to um, size because I made the small one and that is the small one. Um, it's probably for an advanced beginner, beginner knitter, possibly intermediate because it is quite a challenge to get the twisted knitting in that. But once you get the knack of it, it's not too hard and I've never really done it before. The yarn itself, even though it's probably, you know, a little coarse and you'd need an undergarment if you made a jumper, it's perfect for a tea cosy and it was lovely to work with. And pure wool has thermal properties which keeps the tea in the teapot warm. So why have I been finishing whips? Well, I had 16 whips and I wanted to join... The cast on party held by Karma is a stitch. Make sure you check out her channel and subscribe. She does some lovely work and it's really interesting, her podcast. So on Saturday, also Knitting Public Day in the Northern Hemisphere, which happened to be early Sunday morning here, she had a cast on Zoom party and I wanted to join that, but I'm really quite nervous about the fact that I had 16 whips. So the idea was I would finish two and then I'd be able to cast on two and keep it at 16. So it's not, even though it's cast on, it's not just knitting. Don't take it as just knitting. So first of all, I haven't done very much since the cast on party. This is mine. Ta -da! This is the Summer Stripes top somewhere here I won't be a moment so it's I cast on the summer stripes top this one this was pattern was gifted to me by my friend Janice in Victoria and I just said oh, I really like that so I have started with grey on the bottom but I will be using different colours I am going to be doing Ta -da! And da -da. So the grey and these two will be my, these are my three colours. And I am using Bendigo Woolen Mills 8 ply cotton. This is pale lilac. I've lost the tag to that one. I know one of them's grey mist. <laughs> Not very organised, am I? Sorry guys. I can't tell you the colours. I put the tags away safely, but too safely. Here we go. 
So pale lilac, grey wisp and cotton glacier. They're the colours I'll be putting into my top with starting at the bottom with the grey. And it is a little different for me. I've never knitted with cotton before. So far so good, but I haven't really done a lot, to be honest, since Sunday. I really enjoyed the cast on party, the knitting, catch up with everybody, crafting catch up, meeting people who you only see on podcasts. It was really a lot of fun. So I started with a three millimeter on the bottom, that little bit of knitted section there, and then you change to a four millimeter. And I'm doing it on Shigu needles. So that was my first cast on. Now briefly the night before, I did start this because I wanted to kick it off. I thought it'd be really easy to do while I was talking. This was a gifted pattern. ZZ Block and Ziggy Blanket from Karen Wright. She gifted this to me for my birthday. I decided I would do the Ziggy Blanket. And here it is in this bag. So, so far, I've done that much. Ta-da! I'm about to start using colours. So the Ziggy has two other colours in it. So the grey, now this is where, the grey is Magnum Soft 8-ply. Now if you remember, I went to the Tablelands and um, one of the charity shops there held some yarn for me that they'd got in. It was brand new, still in the package. Now when you buy from Wayne Girl out in Woolen, Mill, Woolen Mills, you can buy packs of 10 and someone had and there was nine in the pack they would used one and donated the rest to charity and I got the other nine now the ladies only wanted five dollars for the pack but I actually gave them a bit more because they're about six to nearly seven dollars a ball the 80 gram balls it's acrylic eight ply and um, there's 153 meters in it and there is no color name so it's a real gunmetal grey and my two highlighter colours were picked by Reeves because I still had in my stock Magnum 8 Ply Soft. This is a 100 gram ball in this really hot pink and I know it may sound weird but I also have the Royal Blue so they will be my zigzag stripes on it and Reeves picked those. So shop my stash for both of my cast-ons. When I finish this, I'll probably donate it to Crochet for Cancer. That was the idea. Either donate the yarn or um, make something with it. And I noticed on Saturday when I was there, they had a lot of donated yarn. So I decided I would make the Ziggy Blanket with it because Karen had... Um, bought me the pattern. The Ziggy Blanket is by Zines and Rogers. They write really good in-depth patterns. It's awesome. It is a paid-for pattern. So they were my two cast-ons. Both of them gifted patterns. Now, besides having 14, now 16 whips, back here in all these project bags, and there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six more, are projects I want to make and I have put in a project bag I've shot my stash I've got the yarn the needles the crochet hook and put them aside the idea being I finish a whip I can start a new whip I've got a lot of gifted patterns from people that I would really like to use the crochet for cancer group it was a, it just seemed more vibrant and fun because it was knitting public day and we're having lots of jokes about knitting in public and you know you can crochet we're not knitting snobs if you just hold on a sec so the project i took to work on um, i actually had my scrap knitted blanket which my russian join ball that was going really well and an old lady came over to me and she was quite old asking me about the pattern because she really liked it and she said she wanted to make it she wasn't very good with Ravelry and she can only really do free patterns anyway it's the free pattern and that's also featured in one of my free pattern Fridays Lily scrap blanket 
Now, I happen to have a copy with me. It was a bit mauled and um, I'd written on it. But because it was a free pattern that I had printed off Ravelry, I gave it to her because I said, this is a two row repeat. I don't know why I'm carrying the pattern around with me. And she was actually over the moon. She like, you sure, you sure? And I'm like, yep. So it's the Lily Scrap Bank Blanket Webster Street Knittery by Jennifer Peck. And I was, note was, making this in scraps on the Russian, with my Russian drawn ball, joined ball. And I have done about that much. But since leaving the Crochet for Cancer group on Saturday, there's been an absolute disaster. I cannot recover it. Um, first time my dog has ever actually got into something and totally had a lot of fun. It's um, ended up in the bin. <laughs> That's all I can say. Wasn't rescuable. Wasn't worth donating 21. Um, the yarn was destroyed. But Saxon had a ball. So I'm going to keep this because I printed off another one. I may do this as my next luck of the draw number eight if Nan's next not does one. I am behind currently in my luck of the draw seven, but not to worry, I'll catch up. So pretty much that was it. The cast, cast on party was awesome. I really did enjoy it, even though the time, dear friends, you have to plan it and get up at, um, say, six on a Sunday which is not unusual because that Sunday would have been my community market day and I would have been up at five anyway. And yeah, it was nice meeting people and seeing what everybody makes. And I am no longer embarrassed about my 16 whips because someone else has a lot more than me. <laughs> so there you go. That is me whipping it up and catching up. How many whips do you have or what are you comfortable with? Do you have a couple? Are you monogamous knitter? Or you don't care? You just whip, whip, whip and eventually finish some. Let me know in the comments below because I was really quite surprised that someone had a lot more than 16. I thought 16 was very naughty. Anyway, this week I will be trying to do a free pattern Friday this Friday. I've had some requests. Um, I didn't do one in May. May was just frantic with Amigurumi Wars. But I am putting together... A free pattern Friday for this week um, with three crochet patterns three knitted patterns and hopefully you'll find something there in there to inspire you so keep an eye out for that video those people have been curious as to why I didn't do one in May I'll do one in June and let's hope you like it so guys that's it for me this week um, no I've got to do a yarn vacation video tomorrow but as far as catch up that's where I'm at not very many projects, but certainly a more organized. Finish a whip, start a new one. That's the motto. Anyway, take care, stay well, and I hope you did get out and knit or crochet in public and uh, promote our craft because there's nothing like promoting fiber art. Bye for now.